On this Martin Luther King Jr. Day, some Americans are finding inspiration in Dr. King's mission. One Chicago-based outreach foundation is holding an MLK Day winter clothing drive for homeless residents facing the winter. Of course, very, very cold here in Chicago and around the state. Uh, Jamal Cole joining us now. He's the CEO and founder of My Block, My Hood, My City. Good morning to you. Uh, thank you th for throwing up that peace sign uh, or because I'm a Trojan, fight on. Uh, but uh, first, I've got to mention, you've announced that you're running for an open seat in the House of Representatives. Has Martin Luther King Jr. inspired your run? For sure. And we're going to be doing petitions and collecting signatures today at 8035 South Wabash Avenue. I welcome everybody to show up. Um, yeah, Dr. King, of course, he was about politics. And uh, we need a partner in federal government that's going to support nonprofit organizations and activists. And so I hope I can continue Dr. King's legacy um, showing up in D.C. Well, you're doing a lot of good right here uh, in this area, especially the south side of Chicago. Your organization is actually making $200,000 available in micro grants to small businesses. Can you tell us about this program? Yeah, you know, our mission at my block, my hood, my city is to take care of people no matter what. I mean, that's a broad mission. So if there's a snowstorm, we shovel snow for seniors. If it's a heat wave, you know, we deliver water, deliver fans right to seniors door. I mean, throughout this pandemic, businesses are trying to survive, man. They need help with everything. And so if you're a small business that's struggling right now and you need help surviving, go to our website for my we're giving out micro grants of up to five thousand dollars. Listen, we, if Dr. King was alive, he'd use Instagram to mm -hmm. connect the will to do good with the good that needs to be done. So that's what we're doing. We're giving up to five thousand dollars out to small businesses all throughout Chicagoland area. We got two hundred thousand dollars to give away. Come get some so you can stay open, man. That's that's what we're doing. I love that. And I know a lot of businesses would be very, very grateful uh, for any kind of help they could receive. Uh, this, of course, is not your first uh, rodeo. You've got the MLK Day clothing drive. Uh, how long have you been giving out clothing donations? And, and what do people need to know in order to be a part of some of these projects? We're optimistic, right? I mean, I've been optimistic since I've been 10 years old and being homeless. So, you know, the reason why we I do what I do now is because I know what it's like to be homeless and eat at the shelter and be embarrassed because, you know, your classmates are, are volunteering or your principal is volunteering with the clear gloves. My dad was like, don't be embarrassed, go get your food, right? And so when I got older, I said, I want to I wanna do what they're doing, dad. What is that? He's like, that's volunteering. And so that's what we're doing, man. We're collecting, you know, at Olive Branch Mission on 63rd and Western today, we're collecting donations, we're collecting clothing for the homeless in Chicago, and we'll be distributing that all throughout the day. So come by Olive Branch Mission at 63rd and Western, or go to our website, formyblock.org, and you can, um, you can support in another way. But we take care of people no matter what, and it's cold out here. Okay, one really quick question. You just said that you're homeless, and I don't want to breeze over that. You were homeless, I apologize, when you were a child. What was it that got you from being homeless to somebody that is giving back in the way that you are now? What was the thing that clicked in your mind? Um, my dad taught me what the word optimistic meant at 10 years old when we were riding the bus. He said, we're going to go back to Chicago, Jamal. I'm going to be optimistic. And I was like, that's a four-syllable word, optimistic. I'm 10. What does it mean? He said, optimistic means me being hopeful and confident towards your future. So from that day forward, that was my favorite word. I wasn't scared of being homeless again because I leaned upon that sense of optimism. I wasn't scared to start a nonprofit out of Cook County Jail because I was still optimistic. So when you go out there today and help somebody, like we need a sense of optimism you know, reignited in Chicago. And that's that's why I am who I am today. We need a sense of optimism reignited in this nation. Jamal Cole, thank you for sharing your story with us. A really, I'm really optimistic. Yes, I'm going to start saying that too. I am optimistic. Thank you, Jamal <laughs> Cole. We appreciate you. Thank you. I appreciate you all as well. Peace. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.